Hey, and welcome back to another video from my eBay cheapest playlist, the playlist of videos where I go on eBay and also offer up Macari, Facebook Marketplace and other websites. And I try and get the cheapest mobile devices under a specific brand or a specific model and show you to them here on camera. I haven't touched this series in quite a while now. I think it was five or eight months since I last did a video. I think it was five, it's a Nokia 5800 video I did last. It was a while back, so I thought I'll return to the series. It kind of got pushed back due to uh, the popularity of my other video series. However, uh, we are back with a video and today we have the cheapest Nokia N9 on eBay. Now, this is not the cheapest of the cheapest N9. There was a cheaper one for $18, but that one, I knew its condition. It was broken when I bought it. This one, I don't know its condition, and it was about $24. Here's the original listing, as you can see here. And we will uh, basically try and turn this thing on and see what's up with this. So this is the cheapest Nokia N9 on eBay. So as usual before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also if you have any comments to leave down below, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below uh, or if you want to let me know anything about the Nokia N9 or whatever, do you own one, did you own one at some point, do you plan on getting one for your collection or whatever you want to let me know down in the comment section below. If you have any questions as well, don't forget to leave them down below. I can answer your questions or we can start a discussion. My social media is also linked down in the description below which includes Instagram, Discord and Twitter and now let's jump right into this video. So here's that broken in 9 I told you about. This one was about $18 plus free shipping from was it free, was it $15 plus $3 shipping? I forgot. I think it was $15 plus $3 shipping from Latvia or somewhere. It has a crack on its AMOLED. There's actually a crack running through the AMOLED, so the AMOLED is completely dead. Apart from that, the phone works perfectly, so that's a repair video for another time. It's really hard to get replacement displays in the US, so that's why I'm keeping that to aside for now. Uh, but it is what it is. That was technically the cheapest N9, but I knew it was in broken condition because I saw the crack in one of the photos. You can actually see the crack. I I think it's just over here. I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but it's under the glass, so yeah. Uh, but I knew its condition. This one, I don't know its condition. This one is my other N8. This one works perfectly. The battery is dead now, but uh, I use this for all my other videos. I have to charge this sometime. I think, actually, no. Yeah, it does have a charge. There we go. So that's there. Um, so this is the one I use for my other video. So this N9, as you can see, the star of the show here, it is in its box. The box is in pretty decent shape as well, if it's trying to open. I already opened it and I uh, looked at the contents of the box to see if everything's in shape. I've covered up the serial numbers and stuff. Uh, this thing's original listing, like I showed you earlier, was tw about $24. Here's the listing again. So about $24. Let's take it out of its box. And um, I won it in an auction, so it was an auction and I won the auction. And uh, here is the phone itself. It came in its case, but the case was already falling apart uh, in the photos and when I took it out of its box, the case just completely fell apart. So uh, the case is in multiple pieces in there. I'll deal with that later. But here's the phone. It's in really good condition. It's actually in better condition than my one over here. As you can see, it's turned on. Well, they're, they're identical. Yeah, this one has a small crack up here. My old one has a small crack up there. This one, uh, as you can see, does not have a crack and will actually, um, try and turn this thing on. Let's lock this and keep it to a side. Let's see what else is in the box here. We have this piece of paper-like thing. Uh, I, like I said, again, I already had a look inside the box to see everything's in order. There's some paperwork in here and uh, the, the chargers and stuff are gone. Kind of a bummer because I really like the N9's charger. If you haven't seen one, here's a photo of it. It's a really nice charger. I've, trying to I've been trying to find one for a long time, but I couldn't find it. It's a really weird looking nice charger. Here's the case, it's falling apart. It was in its case before. The top part is missing. It was all crumbled at the bottom there. I'll just leave it as it is. So that is the box itself. Let us put it back in its box here. The box is also nice to have uh, in decent shape. That's also nice for just uh, uh, displaying purposes. So here's the phone itself. Uh, it doesn't seem to have battery. I already tried earlier. I have this thing plugged in. Hopefully this powers on because this thing, according to the uh, seller, 
was found in a storage unit and depending on how what sort of storage unit it was it could have been climate control then it would have been a constant temperature however since climate control uh, storage units are expensive it's most likely just going to be an open storage unit uh, open to the sun just with all four walls and a roof but so it's either going to be extremely hot or extremely cold depending on which state it was in but hopefully the display is not uh, completely wrecked in this this temperature can destroy a display. This thing has probably not been charged in a while, so we'll have to give it some time here. No light over there, so we'll give it some time and see what happens. So we have good news. There is the light there. As you can see, the light has started to turn on, so that means it's taking a charge, so that's good news. The display hasn't come on yet, so we'll just give it a bit more. So after sitting on the charger for about 24 hours ish because I started recording this thing around the same time uh, yesterday on the 15th and now it is the 16th as you can see there so a bit close to 24 hours this thing finally decided to turn on it actually turned on a few hours ago and since then it has been uh, sitting on the charger it was about two hours ago and um, yeah it, it's been on the charger ever since and it's still charging the battery of course uh, is very weak after not being charged for who knows how long. It's been in storage, like I said, so um, it probably needed a lot of time to take some charge. But over the course of the last 24 hours, first it gave me this uh, indicator showing that the battery was taking a charge, but it was very low. So that gave me hope saying that the, that basically gave me hope uh, that the display is not fried because it showed me that. Then the Nokia logo started appearing and then it vibrated and shut off. Then the Nokia logo with that small circle around it, the loading screens uh, came on for a bit and shut off. And then slowly, 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 when the battery kept on getting more power, it uh, eventually got better and better. And then today in the morning, it turned on. And as you can see, it works just fine so yeah there's nothing wrong with it the battery may be just a bit weak and i actually thought that i'd have to pull the battery from the broken one and uh because that broken one the one with the broken display actually has a good battery so i thought i'll have to swap batteries but i didn't and as you can see it turned on just fine it is running Mego 1.2 harmaton and everything seems to be okay the camera works and uh, the, the os is stable and everything looks uh, good to go. It, there's nothing else I can actually say about this thing. Let me take a photo there. As you can see, the camera works just fine. Of course, the front camera, that, like I've mentioned in my full uh, retro style review video, or using the Nokia N9 in 2021, this one, I showed you in that video that you need a special application to actually access the front camera like Skype or whatever. And uh, the application is not available on this phone either. The previous owner has not installed it. However, uh, you can sideload it, but then that app signature thing is there. So that's an issue. I cannot get that working now, but the front camera most likely also works. Everything works just fine. Uh, I'll have to just see how the battery life on this thing does. It's pr Since the battery was not charged for so long, it may have degraded pretty badly. Hence why it took so long to actually, actually take a charge. But still, it's nice to see the phone actually work. So the cheapest Nokia N9 on eBay, cheapest untested N9 actually works just fine. And a big bonus, it came with its box and uh, all that stuff. Uh, like I said earlier, the cheapest N9 was actually the, which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah, this one. This was the cheapest one. But then again, I knew the display was damaged before I bought it. But uh, this one's untested, so this counts. But yeah, apart from that, um, apart from this being a success and I got a really cheap N9 uh, that works, uh, there's nothing else I can say but as usual, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for all the other videos. I may upload a few more videos on the N9 as well as time goes by. Stay tuned for those by hitting the subscribe button down below and if you honestly like this video, don't forget to hit that like button as well and also turn, uh, turn on notifications by hitting that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you have any questions as well, we can start a discussion or I can answer your questions. My social media is linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. Thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.